What's going on guys, it's your here, welcome back to a brand new video. So the Road to the Knockouts promo is here and they have given Lamar an 86 rated card. Keep in mind, this card can still get a further two upgrades and he looks amazing. I've loved his gold card this year, so I'm really interested to see how good his Road to the Knockouts card is going to be. He's got 85 pace with 90 dribbling, 81 shooting, 73 defending, 86 passing and 70 physicals. He is a 5 foot 7 player with high high work rates left footed four star skill moves and a three star weak foot and he isn't going for like a crazy amount of coins 187,000 coins is what i picked him up for now the chem style i've gone for the hawk chem style but you can also go for the anger chem style the anger chem style definitely looks nice on this card if you want to boost up his defending stats it's just the hawk chem style looks ridiculous when it comes down to the shooting stats like giving him a plus eight to shot power a plus eight to long shots especially with him having both shooting traits is going to be ridiculous in that midfield. So yeah, I've gone for the Hawk Chem style, but the Anchor Chem style does also look good. I guess it definitely does depend on how you want to use him. If you want him to be a more defensive player, Anchor is the way. But if you want to use him as like an attacking centre mid, I definitely feel like Hawk is going to be the way to go. The pace with the Hawk Chem style is 91 acceleration and uh, 88 sprint speed. So very good pace in that midfield. Shooting stats, as I said, look very good with the long shots and the shot power being that high. But the finishing is also 84. The attacking positioning is 88 he's got 80 volleys with 76 penalties and as i mentioned he has got the financial trait and the outside first shot trait the only issue with the shooting is obviously the three star weak foot that three star weak foot probably ain't going to be that great the passing stats look very solid for a center mid the dribbling stats look at that man the dribbling stats look incredible obviously he is a five foot seven player so you're kind of expecting him to feel good on the ball but those dribbling stats are just straight up amazing defending stats as i said he's got 84 interceptions with 83 standing tackling and he also has got 74 slide tackling yeah i guess the defensive awareness ain't great for a box to box center mid but he has got a high defensive work rate so he definitely will be helping out on defense and the physicals the physicals they're not amazing but i do like to see the stamina at 88 that is very very nice to see for a player that's got high high work rates he has got also uh 82 jumping 65 strength and 70 why can't i do maths today 77 aggression there you go we eventually got there now the links french atletico madrid the links are not an issue. The links are outstanding. Now, positions. I will be playing Lamar in two positions. I'm going to be playing him in a center mid position. But I also want to try him out in like a CDM position as well. Because I feel like when you do play him center mid, yeah, he will be going forward a lot. But maybe sometimes he'll be caught out if I do lose the ball in a stupid area. And next thing you know, he's not, that, he's not you know, on defense. So playing him in like a CDM position would be very nice just to see how solid he is in that position. But yeah, let's get into the games and let's see how good road to the knockouts of Lamar is going to be. Let me play that through ball. There you go, Lamar. Let's see how you feel on the ball. Let's see that pace coming to play as well. There you go. Go for a few turns. Yeah. This is the thing, right? Like with his gold card, he felt really good as well. So I was expecting this card to feel really solid. Like look at that. Look at the touches. Every little precise touch he's taking is insane. And that's a nice pass over to Correa. He passed through the gap there. There you go, Lamar. Nice touch. Accelerate. Quicker roulette and everything. Look at this. Ball roll around the player. Okay, maybe I'm doing a little bit too much. Hold on, though. We got driven past there. Great touch and turn. Chip it over. Oh, it just gets blocked off. But we're back into the action, apparently. Look at him. Just coming back on defense really quickly. And he puts in a good interception. But we end up losing a ball with Valverde. First time that. Can you play that? That's perfect. Let me go across goal here. Yeah, there you go. Rashford but with a very nice finish. A very good first time pass, though, from Lamar. He is being super aggressive right now. Look at him. He's pretty much playing in a striker position at this point. Go for it. Go on, Lamar. Oh, wow. Okay, that looked like a good shot. It looked like it was going top corner, but the keeper just easily saved it. But yeah, you can already tell he's going to be a super aggressive center mid. He wants to get in that box. Let's go for a quick switch here to Rashford. Quick ball roll. Lamar coming over to give me a passing option. He's got the finesse shot trait, so I might as well give it a go. I like how he came from the left centre position to give me an option there. To make a run down the line there, might as well give him the ball. See if I can maybe use these pace to get around the corner. Go on, there you go. Quick manual switch. Nice turn from Sterling. Great pass into Wilfred, and Wilfred has got himself a very good goal. That pace down the line, just getting ahead of, uh, I think it's Reese James. Come short, Correa. There you go, edge of the box, Lamar. Little chip. Flick it over. Oh, my. Oh, no. 
we got a rebound. That flick was outrageous. The defender was gone. He was completely out the attack. I'm surprised he missed it on the volley. He hit the post, but we do get lucky with the rebound. I'm going to just flick this on. There you go. That's a great pass to Lamar. Nice little touch as well. Wilfred, you're going to be aggressive. There you go. And that is a perfect pass. Look at that. Round the corner and everything. Let me just give this across for the wide open sweat. I could have shot. I could have gave Lamar the assist, but the guaranteed goal is there. That pass was perfect. Let's go press him a little bit. Is he going to go up? He is going to go up. Lamar, go on, fight him. Yeah, that's the issue, right? As soon as you get in those kind of situations, Lamar ain't going to really shine because he ain't got that kind of strength. as He hasn't got the aggression either to get in front of the player. So those shoulder to shoulder situations, I can definitely see him uh, like losing a lot. But I do like how we eventually got the ball there. Go for a quick Berber spin. And yeah, he's been put onto the ground. Yeah, you can definitely tell his physical ability ain't that great. Go press him here. Is he going to go for that turn? He does. I'm going to believe in Lamar though. There you go. Really good tackle. He's going to go for a turn up, isn't he? There you go. Lamar, well played. I just read it. There was not really an option to go forward there. So he had to turn at one point. Let me go for this pass. His passing is nice, especially those ground passes. Like, I don't think he screwed up a single ground pass yet. We'll roll that. Perfect. Oh, really good angle as well. It was green timed. It was low though. Very low. I'm not sure how much power I put into it. Maybe I put too little and that's why it was really low. But the power behind that was ridiculous. Let's go for a quick cut back. There you go, Wilfred. Well played. Play that through ball. Lamar, edge of the box. Go on. No, it hits the crossbar. Those outside foots this year, they're honestly insane. Like if you get it at the right angle, it's going to fly in. Especially with Lamar having like, what, 90 long shots and 90 shot power. Yeah, they should be flying in. I've put him into a CDM position on stay back while attacking. And even on stay back while attacking, he does still go up a little bit and give me a passing option. Can I get this one to go in? I thought that one was going to be an easy save for the keeper, but apparently it goes more into the corner than I expected. Let's go press Memphis Depay. Maybe we could get this ball quickly. Is he going to challenge us? He is going to challenge us. And Lamar is not going to allow him to get around that corner. Really good pace to catch up to someone like Depay there. Go for a quick turn with Valverde. There you go, Lamar. Nice ball roll away from the player. And that is a spot on pass to Wilfred Zaha. Ball roll scoop. Rashford's there, but... I didn't want to play. I didn't want to play it. I thought he was going to get intercepted. Green timed. Why? Why? Why can't that just go in? That looks such. That looked honestly just amazing. I thought I was going to fly top corner. This guy keeps through balling Haaland and Haaland keeps getting on it. He's tried to run with Haaland a few times, but it looks like he's going to try to run a rash for the is there to stop him and put in a good tackle. These step overs with him are so quick. Like you can just burst straight through the gaps if you want to. That obviously wasn't a step over. But look at that. Bull roll to recover it. Lamar, hold him off. Perfect. Well played. See if he comes towards us. Look at the touches. Like the left stick dribbling in this game in FIFA 23 isn't great. But with Lamar, it feels different. It feels really nice. I want to see if this goes in. Imagine. That actually challenges the keeper though. Like how does that challenge the keeper? He's going to push towards us. I can chip that over. Lamar, come closer. There you go. Quick lack of Keta. Is he going to come towards us? He does. He did put in a good tackle, to be fair. But look at Lamar's dribbling. Quick roulette, you know. He's He's gone. He's doing it all. I'm loving how he feels on the ball. Having a centre mid that feels that good on the ball is so nice in this game. So my final thoughts on Road to the Knockout Lamar. We played four games with him. We scored four goals. And we also came out with a single assist as well. Using Lamar as like an attacking centre mid, I definitely do believe is the way to go. He was good as a box to box. It's just, you definitely do notice he isn't like incredible on defence. Like he does put in a few good tackles. His interceptions is quite nice as well. It's just like physical battles. He loses them all. And you definitely do notice sometimes that defensive awareness where he doesn't like track the player on the edge of the box. So yeah, as a box to box he's all right as an attacking center mid he is incredible the dribbling ability on this card is outrageous like the way he was the way he was dribbling was just insane like left stick dribbling in this game isn't top tier but with Lamar it's apparently a whole different story the passing ability was very nice as well he played some very good passes today shooting ability can't complain for a center mid the long shots were 
really, really solid. Sometimes they hit the crossbar, but it's not going to go in every single time, even with a player that's probably got 99 long shots and 99 shot power. You're definitely going to hit the post time to time. So yeah, I saw that today with Lamar, but then there was other times it flew right into the corner. Shooting inside the box as well, can't really complain about it. Pace on his card, got out the players really quickly. Transition speed was very nice. And he was just a player that I could give the ball to in the midfield and just like quickly accelerate around players. And that's something I really did enjoy. Obviously him having the finesse shot trait, the outside foot shot trait as well is amazing. Him lasting for the whole 90 minutes because he has got 88 stamina is amazing as well. As I said, as an attacking center mid, you really can't go wrong. As a box to box, you definitely do notice his defensive presence isn't like top tier. Now, how much does he go for? I picked him up for 187,000 coins. He has now dropped to i believe it's like 160k let me quickly just check yeah okay 100 yeah 156k so he's dropped he has dropped down in price do i believe he is worth 156k yeah i do as i said as an attacking center mid you cannot go wrong he is such a good attacking center mid 150 156k i believe is really really solid pricing now this card can get two upgrades if Atletico madrid get out the group and if they win two out of the next three there's an issue they're bottom of uh bottom of the group but the thing is right if i say it like that you would think okay they're probably on like zero points the teams above them are probably on like six points or you know three points no it's not that bad so club Bruges has got nine points okay porto leverkusen have got three points each and atletico madrid on three points as well so there is still a possibility of them getting out of the group there's still a possibility of them winning two out of the next three games. I don't see Atletico Madrid, like, leaving this tournament anytime soon. Honestly, I think they're going to get out of the group. I really do. So I believe Lamar is going to get the upgrade. As I said, he is worth 156k. He's an absolute bargain. I'm kind of surprised he goes for that amount. I guess it's because Atletico Madrid are bottom of their group. Everyone's like, okay, they're probably not going to get out. So that is why he is that cheap. Now, where does he go in, in the midfielder's tier list? <sighs> He is a very good midfielder, man. It's just, I don't think he's S-tier. Players like Inform KDB is going to go into that S-tier. Players like Yaya Torre is going to go into the S-tier. I don't think Lamar is on that level. So Lamar is going to go into the A-plus tier. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.